In this video, we'll look at whether sodium cyanide, this NaCN, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To do that, we need the neutralization reaction that produced the sodium cyanide. So we have our HCN plus our NaOH. This is our acid and base. We get a salt plus water. That's a neutralization reaction. Once we have the reaction, we need the strengths of the acid and the base in order to use these rules. So here's a table. This is a useful one to memorize of the strong acids, common strong acids, and common strong bases. We're looking for HCN, and we don't see it on our list. That means it's going to be a weak acid. Sodium hydroxide, looking down our list right here, sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So we put SB here. So now we know the strengths of the acid and the base. We can use the rules to figure out whether NaCN is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So we have a weak acid and a strong base. Here's a weak acid and a strong base. That means the pH will be greater than 7. It's going to be alkaline. We also call that basic. So in answer to our question whether sodium cyanide is going to be acetic, basic, or neutral in water, it will form a basic solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.